story began at the Astral Academy, the highest place of wizardly learning in all the kingdom. The Academy housed magical secrets in its vaults, and the wizards had vowed to protect them from falling into the wrong hands. A fiercely persistent monster that set its mind upon penetrating. Odd. The monster is immune to our magic. With all these recent incidents around the Academy, I'm beginning to think we need outside assistance. I will be free. Let's send for help. What we need is our heroes. Trouble in the kingdom, who could save the day? Why, of course, the three heroes of our story, Amadeus, Pontius, and Zoya. Once upon a time, they had all lived ordinary, unremarkable lives. Fates of kingdoms hadn't hung in balance because of their actions. Not until a fateful meeting had changed their lives forever when they had discovered Trine, the artifact of soul. At that time, Pontius, a stout-hearted knight and protector of the common folk, was busy at work. He was tracking a thief who had abducted a sheep from a poor peasant family. The no-good bandit is hiding somewhere in these ravines. I'll catch him and save that sheep, or my name isn't Pontius the Brave. I'll plow through these caves and find that nasty thief. Release the sheep and I'll let you go. Oh, but this is my sheep. You must be confusing me with someone else, good sir. I... I must say I'm sorry for threatening you. <laughs> my mistake. Have you seen the same looking sheep as that around these parts? They'd have been stolen by a goblin who looks an awful lot like you. Well, you see, I stole this sheep from a completely different farm, you thieving blackguard! A true knight doesn't give up that easily. Yeah. 
There we go. Gently like a flower. Not that sturdy. There's that blasted thief. That poor sheep is about to end up as goblin grub if I don't do something. Drop your fork and dinner knife! This sheep is going back home with me! the end of them. Let's set you free. Uh. While Pontius was the strongest and bravest of them all, Zoya was another matter entirely. Zoya relied on her bow and her grappling hook to keep her distance from any trouble. She was brave in her way, but perhaps in a manner that was more self-serving than honorable. Zoya had been a thief long before circumstances had made her a reluctant hero. In the recent years, though, Zoya had less interested in burgling the largesse of high society. Instead, she directed her attentions abroad to far distant lands and their old forgotten ruins and treasures. Prize at last. Come here, little jungle chicken.
Finally. What was that? The last of our three heroes was Amadeus. As a young man, he dreamed of becoming a powerful sorcerer in order to impress people, but he never really got the knack for the grand fireballs he dreamt of. Amadeus was only ever good for conjuring boxes. Thankfully, it had turned out to be a skill more useful than he'd ever expected. Amadeus the wizard was enjoying a well-deserved holiday to see migrating giant turtles with his wife Margaret and their three children. The wizard's wife was a firebrand of a woman, and all their three children were very talented when it came to conjuring fireballs. In fact, it was a small blessing that one afternoon they had left poor Amadeus to have a nap in peace. But he slept too long. When he woke up, he was already late to see the great turtles. I'm late. Oh, I'm so late. Let's see if they went this way. Maybe if I climb up on the cliffs, I could have a better view of the beach. I might find the turtles as well as Margaret and the children. I'm supposed to go in through this lovely piece of local art. Magnificent view. And there are the turtles, on their way to... to make more turtles, I suppose. The artifact of soul. How, uh, nice of you to join me. Thank you again for all the magic powers you've bestowed on me, and all the marvellous adventures. If you're here about business, I'm sorry, but I'm unable to join you. You see, this is the first time I've ever been on holiday with my family since... Well, since you and I first met. 
please? Oh, it's Tri. Can you wait a little? I still need to return this sheep to its family. Oh, your timing is extremely inconvenient. Well, Giraffe. It was not unusual that our three heroes would be whisked away at a moment's notice. For with great power came also great responsibility. The artifact of soul had arcane powers of resurrection, making our three heroes immortal and capable of great deeds and adventures. Sometimes, whether the heroes wanted these adventures or not, I still don't understand how this trine magic works. It's a bit tiresome to put all your life on hold because of a magical candle stand with a flair for abducting bystanders for adventures. I was in the middle of a daring rescue myself. We seem to be at the outskirts of the Astral Academy. This isn't a good place for an adventure. I've already pinched everything. Sink or swim. the Astral Academy go through a lily pond? Landscaping isn't really a part of the curriculum.
is the blasted troublemaker! of the defeated monster, soon scattering and fading into the wind. Smokes of vile sorceries! Look here! This villain, it's made of junk. Creepy. How's this for an idea? If we all give Trine back its powers, we could go back to living our lives as free and normal people. Freedom. It does sound tempting. The heroes had gained their strange powers in the first place by touching the artifact, and so they reached out to it again. I don't think it's working. Imagine giving away your powers. How about I imagine sticking an arrow through this busy... No! <laughs> This turned out worse than I could have imagined. It's headed for the Academy. All right, that makes it a little worse. And I guess that means... We're going to follow it! Yep. <laughs> What's this? Ah, magic! It's taking possession of the roots. Let's see if they fall as easily as the big one. I was a bit surprised to hear Zoya scream when the artifact broke. Wait, what? You must be talking about Amadeus. Uh, I made no such sound. Well, if neither of you screamed, who was it? So many days spent fishing, and nothing to show for it. What bad luck. Hello there. Could you move out of the way, please? I'm not going home before I catch at least something. At last, there will be fish stew for dinner.
good landscaping? I'm sure they had something practical in mind when they set these up. You went along with us in trying to return things back to normal. But I don't get it. Why would Pontius the Brave voluntarily give up his magic powers? I've been starting to think trying is a little unfair when it comes to prioritising our adventures between the socio-economic classes. Huh? What? We're always rescuing kings and princesses. What about the sheep? It looks like this tiny shard of trine gives us some of our old power. Keep it safe, Amadeus. I have a hunch we're going to need it when we track down that dark cloud. Onwards! I'm beginning to miss the time when the artifact simply transported us to where we needed to be. A little bit too much footwork for my liking. Having to walk. Watch out! Hole in the ground! Whoa! whoa. Well, I'll be. I need to get back up. <laughs> Yeah! 
This way. Let's have a bit of fun. Zoya, you never mentioned what you were in the middle of when Trine came to steal you away. Doing something shady again, I bet. There's no law against entering abandoned ruins. I was there to retrieve something for a poor old blind woman. An old piece of parchment. Poems were written by her great-grandmother.
got it. This map will take me to the giant emerald. Amadeus, Pontius, and Zoya's retirement plans had gone horribly wrong. Instead of getting rid of their extraordinary powers, they had managed to destroy the artifact of soul. Our three heroes set off to repair what damage they had caused, or the damage that might yet be done. The heroes entered the Astral Academy with the intention of finding out where the sinister cloud of darkness was hit. Ours was just one of three artifacts, right? There's the artifact of body and the artifact of mind, too. Yes, and they're both stored in the Academy's vaults and are far less lively than our artifact of soul. the three artifacts, Amadeus. I know as much as any wizard. They're three magical containers found in dwarven ruins years ago, and very few people have ever been able to tap into their power. Who made the artifacts? No one knows for sure. They thought it was the dwarves, but it's not likely, since they don't resemble anything else the dwarves made. I have a hunch we should go to the vault where the other two artifacts are stored. The black cloud might be headed there. Magic is possessing the Academy. I'm not scared of a few uppity trinkets. Let's hope they die as easily as they come to life. of the old king. 
When the old king lay on his deathbed, he became irritable and started acting strangely. He demanded he be called Sarek instead of his real name. He also demanded the wizards of the Astral Academy that they give him all the artifacts of power so that he could heal himself. But the wizards denied the royal request. And eventually the old king's health diminished and his body died. But his spirit remained, perhaps through sheer willpower. And he stole the artifacts for himself, except for the artifact of soul. The artifact of soul was taken from its vault by the wizard Amadeus, the knight Pontius, and the thief Zoya. There's a whole stash of books here about the artifacts. And about us, since we've been stuck with one of them for the past few years. I hope they mention my red cloak. What? Someone's written about me? With whose permission? Studying the artifacts of power. The artifacts of power continue to confuse and frighten the wizards of the Astral Academy. The artifacts were unearthed from dwarven ruins a hundred years ago. But few scholars bother to mention that the three items were contained in what appeared to be a prison chamber rather than an arcane vault. We don't quite know what these artifacts do or what they exist for, but they give us the unnerving feeling that they each have a mind of their own. Especially the artifact of soul. Sharp metal parts. Be careful. a good idea to follow the black possessive smoke around the academy. You're the wizard, you should know these things. <laughs> a possessed wound.
which one's this? That's the artifact of body. All seems to be in order here. The third artifact of power was in the last port. Sinister energy swept inside it, and then it exploded. I'm free! So good to meet you three properly at last. I am Sarek the Deathless. <laughs> Thank you for helping me get out of these ridiculous prisons. A thousand years I've been torn apart. <laughs> Wait, were you inside the Artifact of Soul all these years, helping us? Merely a small part of me. You confused me with my jailer, whose torturous scream so pierced the air when her vessel of power was torn apart. But I must thank you three again for getting rid of her so efficiently. We did no such thing! <laughs> you meddled with powers beyond your understanding. You wanted to be rid of her, break free, and you got your heart's desire. Nothing destroys a soul better than a good old-fashioned betrayal. Alas, I must dash off and look for a comfortable body to occupy. Well, have a lovely day. Until we meet again. <laughs> uh, Go to the library. Find the Chronicles of the Guardian. Our tiny piece of the artifact spoke. It's alive. And wants us to go to the library? Any other requests, Miss Artifact? But the voice emanating from the shard said nothing. Very shiny things out there. The other shards that broke off trying. And they're scattered all over the land. The nearest one seems to be in Redwood Forest. Shouldn't we go pick them up? I think we need to do what the voice said and get to the library. Searching the Artifact of Soul. Ancient dwarf runes describe the artifacts as Zarek for mind, Arhuna for body, and Katrine for soul, even though such words are not known in any dwarven dialects. We must assume that these words date back earlier, to the time of the forging of the three artifacts of power. The Artifact of Soul responds well to being addressed to Katrine, or just 
trine. It glimmers and hovers, almost as if the object truly had a soul.
normally glow like that. Something's amiss. So, we'll take this enormous book and beat Sarek to death with it. They do say the pen is mightier than the sword. Aha. We'll use it to get information. Amadeus, Pontius, and Zoya's retirement plans had gone horribly wrong. people who leave holes lying in the ground like that. Anyone might fall down them. Still no closer to finding my way up to Amadeus and Zoya. This looks like an abandoned mine. Which means it must have an abandoned entrance. Way out only if I look for it. So, best foot forward. <sighs> we're idling about, I think I'll take a short nap. Wake me up when something interesting happens. Will do. The cellars of the Astral Academy. I'm here to find something, aren't I? They'll never let me graduate if I don't find it.
I can't remember the sellers being this hostile. I'm going to find it. Now, hang on. I am a wizard. This is just a dream. The Astral Academy is full of danger. Mostly thanks to me. An unusual library book had captivated more than just the hero's attention. The tome, entitled The Chronicles of the Guardian, contained the memoirs of a great magician who had lived long ago. What a highly irregular way of doing research. Hello? Is anyone here? Amadeus, Pontius, Zoya, do you hear me? How do you know our names? But we've shared so many adventures together. I am Trine. Trine? Lady Trine? Where are you? I can't see you! I'm a spirit, like Sarek. I don't have a body. But now that we're all here together, we can have a little talk. Let's move on. This is getting stranger by the minute. We'd better do as she says, if we're to get out of this book. getting rather hostile. We'll be all right. I'm not afraid of paper mushy beasts. <laughs> Anniversary. You saw only his spirit. A thousand years ago, he was alive and at the height of his powers. Sarek had an unquenchable thirst for power and magic. Eventually, he managed to make himself immortal, but his success made him mad. Unstoppable and insane, Sarek became a threat to every living thing in all the kingdoms, for none could challenge him. And now this all-powerful, insane sorcerer wants the three of us dead? 
I'm not too worried. Trine is still on our side. Well, she's also in pieces all over the world. in the flesh. <laughs> Maybe the passing years have mellowed him. Sarek. He had enchanted his heart so that he would live forever. So, we stick a sword through his chest and destroy his heart? Unfortunately, it is not so easy. You see, Sarek hid his heart. In fact, he concealed it so well that a thousand heroes in a thousand years haven't been able to find it. Hmm... This sounds like the world's most challenging treasure hunt. <laughs> Something like that. But I wouldn't expect we'll find a heart of gold. Yep. Thank <laughs> you. 
I was alive also at that time, in a proper body. So was my sister, Rona. We were on a quest to save the world. The Guardian was a fabled magician in our time, who gave us the means to imprison Sara. hunted down Sarek to confront him. He seemed to have a hunch something unpleasant was going on, so he ran away from us. Our plan was to separate his soul into three pieces and hide them all around the world. Because it would render him useless and give us all the time to find his hidden heart. Where's Lady ah! Rona now? No, we'll soon find out.
We cornered him in the depths of a fiery mountain. To entrap his soul, we needed to get rid of his body. And you faced him in the heat of battle! Oh my goodness! Why did Trine? You died! Trine's body had perished, but the artifacts of power were born. Their magic gave Trine and her sister the strength and wisdom required to keep Sarek imprisoned. Until such a time when heroes brave and clever enough could find Sarek's heart. Darned rash. How did you burn your skin like that? A nasty splash a short while ago. The emerald is so close I can smell it. This water doesn't appear healthy. Emerald's not here. Perhaps there are other clues nearby. So, if this is a dream, I might be able to try conjuring a fireball next. Amadeus, wake up! Not yet. I have to try something. Fireball, come to me. Nothing is happening. How disappointing. Now maybe the fireball is hiding from me. I should go look for it. I don't want any great balls of fire rolling around the floor. I want a proper, conjured projectile fireball of wizardly destructiveness. It 
it's not here either. Nap time's over. <laughs> the heroes had many questions for the unexpected spirit who seemed to have been in charge of disturbing their lives in the recent years. But there was no time for chatter, for the shards of the broken artifact had to be retrieved. The shard closest to them had flown into the Redwood Forest, home to the tallest trees in the world. No one's seen this quest through in a thousand years. Why would we be the ones to slay Sara? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We need to find all the pieces of the Artifact of Soul before anyone is even remotely ready to hunt for Sarek or his heart. But after this adventure is over, we can all be free, go our separate ways, and everyone will be happy, right? All right then, it's a deal. Redwood Forest. The quest for charge has begun! from inside my head rather than from the artifact or the book. It's fascinating. It seems as if ever since we broke the artifact of soul, she's been able to project her thoughts directly into our minds. No, what, what now? It's quite logical. The artifacts were designed to contain the soul or souls inside them. And now that this one's broken, Trine can somehow use the remainder of the Guardian's magic to communicate with us. It's unnerving to hear voices in your head.
The heroes had many questions for the unexpected spirit, who seemed to have been in charge of disturb... Little knight, it's time you learned that honor and courage are mere words, but my powers are real. This night will make a fine feast for my ravenous companion. adventure. Huh? What was that? Speak up. I recognize that voice from somewhere. Cake onwards! Cake. Ah! Ha! Ha! Oh! Why did it go? 
The cake is alive.
The cake is a lie. No! The cake is a lie! Our heroes moved ever closer to discovering the first lost shard of the artifact of soul. But they were not alone. There was something else in the canopy. And it did not take kindly to strangers in its realm. The heroes approached the last known location of the shard in silence, listening for any signs of danger and not wishing to raise any trouble themselves. A missing piece of our trine!
collected a shard. Next stop, Giant Lands. Just two more to go. The artifact of soul will be restored in no time. Just one more adventure and everything will be back to normal. <laughs> For a change, I'm feeling rather confident. Even with only a small piece of triumph, we can do anything. Looking forward to it. While our valiant heroes continued their adventure, Sarek was taking possession of both Trine's sister and the last artifact of power. Ha 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 